Hello everyone, my name is Jason Wilson. I'm Luciano Calvosa. And welcome to our latest segment, Hardwood Heroes. Double H is a segment highlighting basketball heroes and villains of Hardwood's past. Yes, greats such as Magic and Bird, MJ and Pippen, Wade and LeBron, and as of now, Murray and Jokic. Today's episode will be intru introducing a segment known as Was, Is, and Will Be. This involves us highlighting players of the past, present, and even share our ideas of the players that will take off to greater heights. Today, me and Luch have devised together a list of six players from their respective times in the NBA known as the Was, Is, and Will Be. Starting off with was one of my highlights is a personal favorite of mine, Tracy McGrady. T-Mac was in the 97 draft as the ninth pick. Hall of Famer, seven-time All-Star, two-time scoring champ, seven-time All-NBA, uh, the 2000-2001 Most Improved Player, with a peak in 2002 with 32.6 rebounds, five assists, a steal and a block, and a career just averaging 26 and four. I mean, he was a phenomenal player, not to mention the 13 points in 33 seconds, which lives in basketball history. Wow, Jay, such an underrated player for his time in the game. Well, for my player I want to talk about, was one of the most dominant for his short time in the league, the great wall, Yao Ming, who, a matter of fact, teamed up with McGrady. So on my notes here, first off, Yao Ming, 7 foot 6, uh, Eight-time All-Star, he was introduced into the Hall of, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2016. Was the first pick in the 2002 draft. Uh, his career stats were just pretty self-explanatory: 19 points, uh, almost 10 rebounds a game, as well as averaging almost two assists per game. His peak year was 2006 to 2007, averaging 25 points, 9.4 rebounds, and two assists, two assists on the dot. Such dominance for such little time. A he would have been in the early 2010s, he could have been. You're definitely right there, Jay. A guy with amazing post work like that would have dominated a postless decade of the early 2010s. Now, let's move on to who is, right now in today's league. I'll be highlighting a man of many names, which you all know as Ant-Man, but to me, a few friends, we call him the Timberwolf. Ant was the first pick of the 2020 draft and was a first-time All-Star. Personally, I do think he was snubbed for Rookie of the Year, but he did make 2021 All-Rookie. Last year, averaging 25, 6, 4, and a steal, with a career average of 22, 5, and 4. He is athletic prowess at its best. What an athlete Ant is. And I mean, in multiple interviews, he says he'll be in a breakout in any sport from A to Z. Now, my player I want to highlight is four-time All-Star and first-time All-NBA player last year, Donovan Mitchell. So Donovan Mitchell, a.k.a. Spida, four-time All-Star, <laughs> Uh, he was 2022-2023 uh, All-NBA. Uh, his career stat line is actually phenomenal. 28.3 points per game, 4.3 rebounds, as well as 4.4 assists per game. His peak year was actually surprisingly last year, averaging 28.3 points, 4.3 rebounds, and actually the same exact stat line, 4.4 assists. I definitely, I mean, the guy 6'1". I never would have thought that he would be this explosive coming off of a short, a short stint so far. Wow, Luch. What a diverse player Spider Mitchell is. Being able to score in many ways on the court really makes him a real threat for other teams. You are totally right, Jay, and that is why he's one of the best guards in the league. Finally, we're going to go over our players we feel are going to make a leap sooner or later, big or small. Today, I'll be talking about 2022 Rookie of the Year and most underrated player in the league, Scotty Barnes. Scotty, aka to me, a poor man's magic with the floor of Draymond Green, was the fourth pick in the 21 draft with a height of six foot nine, Rookie of the Year. All rookie first team, and last year averaged a nice 5'6", 5, 5, and a steal and a block. Fantastic for a player that goes very underrated. In his career, he now averages 15, 7, and 5, which to a lot of people is very mediocre. But to me, that's just good enough. I mean, he doesn't have his starter potential yet, but this year, I plan that he's going to take off. You know, Jay, Scotty is just one of those guys that does it all for the media. It's just not flashy enough. Severally underrated player. Now for my player, funny enough, 2021 Rookie of the Year and 2022 NBA All-Star 6'7 point guard for the Charlotte Hornets, LaMelo Ball. Like I just mentioned, LaMelo Ball, 6'7, one-time All-Star, the 2021-2021 Rookie of the Year, career stat line with 23.3 points per game, 
6.4 rebounds, as well as 7.3 assists per game. I mean, the guy is just flashy all over the court. Just throws a no-look pass, it's like it's nothing. Uh, his peak year was actually last year as well, averaging 23 points per game, 6 rebounds a game, as well as almost 9 assists per game. So definitely the stats right there. They speak for themselves, Jay. Wow. LaMelo's really got a lot of promise for his game, huh? Well, that's why I highlighted him. <laughs> well, everyone, that about does it for this episode of Hardwood Heroes. Thank you for tuning in to our first episode. For more of us, tune in on Saturdays from 12 to 1 for LJ Saturdays on WGAO Power 88.3 FM. And for our social media, it should be around here somewhere on the screen. Thanks once again for tuning in to Hardwood, Hardwood Heroes. Heroes.